explain about RF AF generator. The order code of this kit which we are using is 202141852.20. So now let's move on to the kit of RF AF signal generator. Let me give you a brief about this panel. So here we have the power on of indicator, frequency readout and adjusting function generator selector switch. Now we have here radio frequency output, audio frequency output, output multiplier switch, output control and then tuning adjuster, audio frequency control, external modulation, frequency band selector, here we have the needle to read frequencies and here we, this casing is our acrylic cover. Let's start with the procedure on this kit. Firstly, we will connect this kit to the power supply and we will connect a CRO or DSO with it and we will use a BNC to BNC cable for this. We will connect the BNC cables one end to channel one on CRO or DSO and the other end on the RF meter output there in the RF AF signal generator. Now for measuring different carrier frequency ranges we will uh, press this function selector CW button here and then we will start by selecting one by one different frequency ranges from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So we will put the output multiplier into 100 and then you can see the frequency range is started. So now, so now our first A point of frequency range A has 100 kilohertz to 230 kilohertz frequency range. So you can see in CRO the present range is near 89. Slowly we will adjust the tuning adjuster and then you can see the range start increasing. At 100 now we will gradually increase this range till 230. So you can see it has gone near 230 and it's not going and if we will move it further the wave will disappear. Now we will turn it back to zero or this point in the left hand side and then we will press on the B button. The B has frequency range between 200 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz. So now for frequency range B, we will start this again. You can see in the CRO or DSO, we have the reading 185 kilohertz. So our B point starts with 200 kilohertz and ends at 500 kilohertz. So we will gradually increase through this tuning adjuster. And we will get it near 500. You can see the 500 range hitting in the DS. Now we will again get back, get back this tuning adjuster at zero point or left hand side and we will press the C here. Now you can see the range has increased 316 kilohertz. So now our C point starts from 350 kilohertz and goes up to 550 kilohertz. Now we will slowly increase the range. You can see we have reached near 500 kilohertz. So here we, we, we get a 530 or 540 kilohertz output in this C point. Now again turn this tuning adjuster to zero or starting point and then press the D1. Now you can see the range has increased to 461 kilohertz at initial. So our deep starts from 500 kilohertz and goes up to 1200 kilohertz. So now we will again tune the adjuster. And you can see we have reached near 1.2 megahertz that is 1200 kilohertz. Now we will again get back the tuning adjuster to starting point. Now we will press the E1 present here. Now we will slowly adjust, slowly adjust the bar 
so our e starts from 1.4 megahertz and goes up to 3 megahertz we have reached near 3 megahertz value in dsp now we will readjust this to the starting initial point again and we will press the f push button now our f range is from 3.2 megahertz to 8 megahertz we will slowly increase the range so you can see we have reached 8 megahertz in the dso so we will again get back to its initial position so now we will push the g button and now and now you can see the range is at 7.00 something milli hertz megahertz sorry now we will measure it as g is from 10 megahertz to 30 megahertz we will slowly increase the range you can see in the dso we have reached near 10 megahertz and on gradually increasing through adjusting knob we get near 20 megahertz which is the range of g now we will adjust it back on the starting point and then for measuring the modulated output we will press the function selector button at mod 1 now so now you can see the modulated wave output in the cro or dso now we can measure this modulated output at any of the frequency range points we can push the b button so you can see the frequency range has increased and has starting from 186 you can adjust the tuning adjuster to get the maximum output on that specific frequency range point now we can do the same for c d e f and g now lastly for audio frequency we can use either external modulation or directly we can control uh, we can have the control on the amplitude of this audio frequency from this knob you can see in dso now with this we end our experiment upon this audio frequency radio frequency signal generator if you have any queries contact tesca technologies private limited if you like the video please like share and subscribe